Hi, I'm Steve from Audix. We're here at Infocom 2024, and uh, we're here to talk today about the Audix TM2. This is a test and measurement microphone that is set up in an enclosure, a fixture, if you will, to allow the test and measurement and verification of operation for in-ear monitors. It can be used in conjunction with any test and measurement software. In fact, just think of it like a regular test and measurement microphone that you might use to analyze a room. But what we're doing is analyzing the performance of an in-ear monitor. So this uh, software that's currently running is uh, very cost effective. It's by Studio 6, it's audio tools. And we're using the transfer function in app purchase to measure this in-ear monitor along with their interface, which is kind of convenient because it's class compliant and can plug directly into an iPad. The power supply will charge the iPad. And another cool feature is it's got uh, a headphone output, which makes it very convenient for doing test and measurement on the in-ear monitors. Now, we're using it to just test a, a generic IEM, but this modular system here allows us to swap out the provided inserts for two different generic IEMs, uh, one that has a, a sleeve assembly for custom in-ear molds, and we also provide an ear sim for use with a, a calibrator, which we can talk about that in a moment. But basically, the operation is this. You set up the app running a transfer function measurement, engage the in-ear monitor into the fixture. Just like any transfer function measurement, you see your coherence go up. This is your frequency response trace. This is your phase trace. Very smooth phase trace, by the way, because these are Audex single driver A10 in-ear monitors. But the idea here in a touring sound scenario or in a house of worship scenario, you really don't have a way to consistently tell that your in-ear monitors are performing up to specification. With this, you can take a transfer function measurement when the IEMs are new or known to be in good condition and then come back uh, as a periodic maintenance scenario or like in a tour sound application before every show and test them to make sure that in the case of like an inst a multiple driver IEM that all the drivers are indeed functioning and that they are up to spec as they were when they were new. So house of worship applications, touring sound applications. The last thing I'll touch on briefly, I mentioned the ear sim, which allows you to use a calibrator for SPL measurement. And that's pretty cool in the fact that you can then set that up in your measurement software and get a determination of what kind of SPL is being provided to an artist. So in that scenario, you could have a place marked on your metering, on your monitor console, and know for a point that uh, you're delivering X amount of SPL approximately at that, at that uh, metering level so as not to you know, provide uh, excess signal to the system that might cause ear damage. So it helps you monitor what SPL is going out to those in-ear monitors in that application. So really unique piece. Uh, precision piece comes with a calibration file, by the way, so if multiple units are being deployed, uh, you know, like in a rental sound company and things like that, you can ensure they're all performing at the exact same specification. So that's the Audix 2. Again, I'm Steve Young here at Infocom. To learn more, go to audixusa.com.